Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to look at what's trending in the news. And of course, we have Nigeria's best political analyst with us, Ezugu Chukudi. Thank you very much for joining us. Why is your mouth you shocked, dropping guy? at the truth? I, I, I'm, I'm in shock. <laughs> I'm in shock, but... Um, you know, when we look at certain people and call them uh, your excellency, honorable, distinguished, and they accept it. I mean, I know what I can do. Who am I not to accept exactly. this? Exactly. <laughs> Good to see you, Chikri. <laughs> Thank you very much. Happy weekend, ladies. Happy, Happy weekend. weekend. And, uh, you know, France would square up against Uruguay today. And uh, as we speak, aujourd'hui, that's today. Uh, je m'appelle. Okay, right now he's not about to start his French classes because when he starts, we're not going to On be radio, they started calling him Chukudi Macron. 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 Macron yeah. All right, away from Macron, let's move to some very, very serious issues. Now, the United Kingdom has pledged to support Nigeria in helping us to find Leah Sharibu, who is still within the captivity of Boko Haram. Now, it was reported that they still held on to her because she refused to convert from Christianity to Islam one of her fundamental rights as enshrined in the constitution allows her to freedom of worship and Leah Sharibu represents everything that we ought to be standing for what you truly believe in defiance of anything that kicks against that freedom that you have now the truth is in Nigeria we're quick um, to move on to the next one I think I explained I woke up with this you know touch of uh, this, epiphany. this epiphany you know yesterday morning and I thought about it how quickly we move to something different so long as it's you know, what is our personal interest. I recall how, you know, in the news, days after, weeks after, and now nobody's talking about it again. Or a lot of people, or it is not getting the kind of publicity. But as Nigerians, what we want is for government to do its best to see that, you know, the oath of office and oath of whatever, that this public office holder swore to, they keep to them. Now, we want a situation where you have to keep walking around the clock. There's no best. There's no, we have done our best. You have to keep walking around the clock to ensure that you rescue not just Leah Sharibu. I mean, she's in the eye of the storm now. Every other Nigerian that has been abducted. And most importantly, you walk towards ensuring that Nigeria is safe so that people can go about their business in peace. And, you know, unscrupulous elements or men that we call uh, unknown gunmen, armed, uh, armed assailants, who, people that you always claim that you will bring to book. We want a situation where we can indeed say that Government is responsible and working in the best interest of the Nigerian people. And this cuts across, you know, all political affiliation or ethnic background. This is about, you know, our best hands working, even though, you know, I always look at the concept of the first 11 and say that if we look at Nigeria today, a lot of the people there are not in our one to 100 million. But the truth is, we would continue to press and get that they do their best. Now, if the United Kingdom, if the government of the United Kingdom is going to collaborate with you to ensure that we rescue Leah Sharibu and also every other Nigerian that has been abducted, we welcome this. We need to start but acting. But Chukudi, does it have to get to the point where the United Kingdom have to step in? For example, look at what happened as well with the Kirikiri prisons and the United Kingdom being the ones to say we're going to build a global standard prison here in Nigeria for um, convicted felons that we want to send back to your country. They're taking £700,000 and above from their security fund. They're going to come in again and help us now with Leah Sharibu. Does it have to get to the point where the UK have to continuously step in? Sadly so. We always say that. We want to get to the point where we are proactive rather than reactive. If you go down Nigeria's history, it has always been like this. But the truth is, I mean, we need to demand for more. We don't want the situation where you come to say, never will this happen again. We, we, we have put measures in place. We will bring the perpetrators to... Book. But what are the measures that are even being put in place? Because like you mentioned, we need to get to the level where we are proactive and not reactive. Now, we've seen this happen with um, the Chibok girls. We've seen this happen with the Dapchi girls. We've seen this happen time and time again. Our so boys what measures, exactly, our boys, what measures are we putting in place to ensure that we don't have a repeat incidence of this? That is why Nigerians must participate in the process. I mean, we were inundated with news on Monday of, you know, personnel of the Mopo protesting in Maiduguri, the Borono State capital, that since you mobilized us, you haven't paid us. What does that tell you? People who are supposed to lay down their lives, if it gets to that point, to ensure that we, you know, our territorial integrity and corporate existence is preserved. What yeah. we must do is begin to participate in the process. Ask, not just talk about this and move on and say it is not my portion, it is well. We must begin to participate and get these people to act accordingly, else they shouldn't be there in the first place. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.